Hi everyone, this is Farah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. I make videos on fashion style, luxury, travel, lifestyle. So I would love to have you guys back. Please subscribe below um, to continue to have more videos like this. But today I am doing an awesome video on a comparison of two very popular handbags. Um, these are both bags that I own and that I love and I use for different reasons. But I wanted to compare them just to see um, why I like one versus the other and just for you guys to have a better idea of if you're maybe trying to choose on one or considering if you should get a second one. So the handbags that I'm talking about are the ever popular Louis Vuitton Speedy and I have it in the size 30 Damier Bean print um, and it's the bandolier version versus the Neverfull. Um, by Louis Vuitton. So this is also in the Damier Bean print in the MM size. So these are two very popular, popular bags and um, both of them have their pros and cons which is why I have both of them and I will kind of go through and tell you guys um, the pros and cons of the Speedy um, B30 versus the Neverfull um, MM and kind of what I also like about them and if I could only have one in my collection which one I would pick. Um, so let's get started in this video. So first of all we'll start off with the Speedy B 30. So I'll kind of just give you a little overview of the bag. So it's the Speedy B 30 Damier Bean print. Now this does come in many other prints so it comes in the um, Damier Azure, which is the like the white gray, um, and then it also comes in the monogram, um, and then it, it often gets like those limited edition special uh, bags, and so you could say that occurs for both this one and the Neverfull, so they both kind of have those other variations. Um, I have them both in the Damier Bean print just because I absolutely love this print. I love that it's a little bit understated, um, that the monogram, and it also has the leather that is um, treated, so it's not the Vachetta leather, leather, so it doesn't like change um, like color or anything like that, and you don't have to worry about it getting it wet and spots and things like that. I just wanted something that was hassle-free because I knew these would be like really well-used bags. And uh, one of the things that both of these have that I'll show you is the inside is this red. And I just love that pop of red. It makes me so happy every time I open up the bag and I see the red on both this. And then in the Neverfull, the inside is also red. So I think that was one of the reasons for, even though I know they're both the same print on the outside, um, I just love the print. And I love the red that goes on the interior and the fact that it is, uh, you don't have to worry about the leather changing. So with the Damier, um, a bean never full 30 um, it's 30 centimeters across and it has two top handles um, this is the bandolier version uh, which has straps that you can attach on each side and it has kind of the support going through the uh, regular speedy does not have the strap and I personally really think this extra strap is worth it because even though it does um, increase the cost a little bit, uh, just to be able to carry it like on the shoulder and have hands free. Um, and it also has another attachment that I have kind of put away because I don't really use it much, but you could even make it longer and then do it cross body. Um, I think that's good more for travel and things, but from day to day, just having it on the shoulder works for me. And then you could also hold it in your hand and even do it in the crook of the arm. Uh, one of the things that I love about this bag is, other than the red interior, is that it has a zipper. So it has zippers from both sides that allow it to be closed, and therefore you have that security. And it even comes with like a lock that you could lock it. Um, to be honest, I don't ever use that feature, but it does exist if I wanted to. And then these straps too are removable. So if I don't feel like I need a strap, I can just almost make it like the classic and not have a strap at all on it. And then on the inside of it, currently I do have a bag organizer in it that I'm gonna take out for you guys. Um, that bag organizer keeps the shape a little bit better um, and it does become a little bit 
easy to lose things that you put inside there when you take the organizer out. So having an organizer like this just kind of keeps the items in there, um, as it says, a little bit more organized. Uh, but without it, it's also just a red interior like this. And I have the one that has a zippered little pouch. To be honest, it's quite small. It's hard to get too much stuff in there, but you could put like lipstick, chapstick, um, like a card or something like that. I also keep the the keys, the key and the lock in here. And on the other side, it just has like a D-ring. So in case you wanted to attach something to that, um, keys or something you could um, and otherwise this is the bottom top and this and it's light um, but it is a little bit heavier than the Neverfull just because it has a little extra hardware on it um, so my pros about this bag first of all I just think this bag is classic classic Louis Vuitton style like I don't think this is you know, ever gonna go out of style. Um, it is kind of something I can imagine myself carrying, you know, more casually, more dressed up, um, in all sorts of decades, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond. I just think it's just such a classic bag, um, which I love about it. I love also the security of the zippers. I've realized in times of owning multiple bags um, that having a zipper really works for me because it just gives me that peace of mind that, you know, everything is in there. It's secure. I haven't lost anything. Nothing has accidentally fallen out or anything. So I really like having bags with zippers. I also love versatility and this one definitely provides versatility. So I have the ability to wear it handheld, crook of my arm, <clears throat> on my shoulder, cross body. So I really like that um, and I love that this bag you can wear pretty much with like all outfits you can wear it with a little bit more dressier outfits and just hold it in your hand you could wear it more casual outfits just like a jeans and a t-shirt and just carry it like that um, so I really love the versatility of this um, I love um, both of them that this print is one that kind of goes with everything it's a well um, loved print but I think it also is not to me is not as kind of like in your face as the actual Louis Vuitton monogram print because I think there's some people who don't realize you know unless you're like <laughs> you know like us in the uh, bag community but there's some people who have no idea that this is Louis Vuitton and I kind of like that it could be a little bit incognito if I want to be um, and I love that it's treated leather uh, so I don't have to worry about getting it dirty this is canvas so it's all wipeable if something spills if it's raining i don't have to worry about it so i really love that about this um, the limitations of this bag i would say is that the opening is not crazy wide i mean with the 30 which is one of the reasons i went 30 versus the smaller version like the 25 is i can really get my hand in here i can put a book a paper water bottle easily fits in here and there I don't even have to turn it to get things out things just slide in and out easily but it is um, a little bit more constrictive with the zipper and um, another thing too is that the strap even though it's comfortable um, I do find the never full strap a little bit more comfortable when I'm wearing it on the shoulder so uh, that would be the biggest cons I think of it but otherwise I really I really love this bag and um, between this one and the Neverfull, this was the first bag that I had had purchased. But then I did go on to purchase the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM and also the Damier Bean print. So this is the bag. And so you can see this one has two top shoulder straps that are thin, but they fit very comfortably on the shoulder. Like, I can wear this and then you just kind of have your hand here on the side and I really just enjoy this a lot um, it's very very easy to wear and then inside of it opens up into this big wide space and I love that it's red it does have a slip pocket in here that's really large let me show you it actually can you can actually almost pull it out and 
it's wide, like my whole hand can go in there. So you can actually put a lot in this inside pocket and zip it and keep it secure, um, much more than you can in the speedy uh, inside pocket. Um, one of the big cons about this bag that I'll jump to right away is that it does not have a secure closure on the top. It does have these two clips that you can clip together. And so it keeps it, you know, the opening from just like flopping open, but you can still reach in there and get something or somebody else could. Um, so it's not as secure as a zipper. And I feel like if this could have had a zipper, like then it would be, you know, the ultimate. Um, but I will say this is a little bit lighter than the Speedy just because it doesn't have as much hardware. Um, and therefore it's, it's comfortable. It's comfortable on the shoulder and it is more of a casual bag. So like, whereas the Speedy I could wear with more dressy outfits, casual outfits. This one I feel like always is more of like a casual outfit. I mean, it's like, it's a tote bag. So, um, if you're really dressed up going out at night, it's not one that like I feel like I would gravitate towards because one, I don't need all the space and two, um, it just doesn't seem to go as well with the outfits. Now, you can cinch the sides in of all the Neverfulls. So it has these little tassels on the sides that you can cinch in like this. And I'll do it on this side too. So you can kind of like make it almost like a little box. This is it kind of cinched in. And then if you close the top, it is much more secure that way. To be honest, I've never worn it like this. Like I've just never worn it like this. And if I compared, this is how they would look, you know? I mean, it really shortens the, the length of this. Almost this is longer than <laughs> the point yoke is. Um, but, uh, I've never worn it like this. I've never seen anybody wear it like this. So even though it is a function that exists and you can even kind of like keep this part and then like box out that part and make it a little bit more, you know, like different shapes. But honestly, I've, I've never worn it like that. Um, and I don't ever see myself ever wearing it like that, but you have the option to, if you want it, if you really want to change it up and have a different style, you could do that, which is kind of cool. I guess if I ever, got bored of the shape or something I and mean, all of a sudden it got trendy to wear it like that maybe I would but for right now this is the way I wear it and this does nowadays come with um, an extra pouch uh, that you can actually like clip into the d-ring that's in here um, and uh, I actually ended up just selling that pouch because it was very flat. Um, I tried to use it a couple times as like a wristlet and I was like, I'm really not getting any use of this whatsoever. I just felt like I was sitting around. So I ended up selling mine, um, but it does come with that. And a lot of people do love that. So it's kind of like a two for one you get when you get this. Um, but this is the base and it's the same on both sides. So this is the Neverfull and the biggest pro is you can fit a ton. I mean, they call it never full for a reason. I can put like, if I'm going away for a weekend, this can be my weekend bag. I can put multiple changes of clothes in here. Um, if you're going to school or for work, books, food, lunch, water bottle, um, folders, you know, like this all fits in here. They do have a smaller size of PM and a larger size of GM, um, which to me were just like it was like too small, too big, you know, Goldilocks this is perfect for me, but um, there are those other size options too if uh, you're interested in that. But these are the two. So the Louis Vuitton Speedy, oh, that's my kitty cat, <laughs> hi Snow. Um, and so this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy B30 and the Neverfull MM, both in the Damira Bean print. If I had to choose between the two from me talking about it, you guys might have already kind of guessed which one would be my favorite, but I would pick, can you guess? <laughs> I would pick this one um, because of kind of what I mentioned that it is to me more secure with the zipper, more classic in its style, um, that I can wear it handheld, 
crossbody shoulder that I can um, wear it with more like dressy versus casual outfits. So I feel like there's just more functionality there. Um, both are great. I mean, I obviously have both for a reason, but uh, if I had to go with one, I would go with this one. And I feel like um, this is also a great one too. <laughs> so that's why I've got two. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. Um, I would love if you guys give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe so you can come back for more. And thank you so much for joining me on this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.